What up, party people? It's Campbell Cat, and I'm here with another amazing video that's going to enrich the fuck out of your life. Are you ready? Alright, that sounded like directly an infomercial. So, I m am fully aware that many people are not capable of purchasing, like, official brand name punk goth clothing or whatever, and or may not have stores where it's available to you around where you live. Lots of reasons can prevent you from looking the way you want. But I have good news for you. There's a little thing called do it yourself and you can make clothing just like look the way you want it to with very small budgets. I'm broke. I don't even have a job. That's why I'm making videos because I don't have a life. But I make my own clothing look pretty cool when possible. So and I mean, if you think about it, especially with punk, that's kind of where everything started, is you had to make your own clothes look cool, because fucking brands like Trip and like Punk Rave didn't exist back in the day when things all started. So, without further ado, let's fucking get to showing you some cool stuff. I, mean, I don't know what's with me, like, I don't know, it's really gay. Anyway, let's go. Alright, well, I'm going to be filming this on my horrifically not goth bed, as you can see by the pink Hello Kitty. But, like, these pants. Okay, so, tip number one, thrift stores. Really helpful, um, because these pants are Royal Bones pants, and they're probably between 30 and 50 bucks in, like, Hot Topic or wherever you can get those. And I got them at a thrift store for 8 bucks. So... Highly recommend thrift stops to doing the thrift stores. That's, yeah, that. And also invest in some, like, all-weather acrylic paint. And then you can paint your own designs rather than spending lots of money on patches and stuff. Because it looks pretty much just as cool. And if you're not so artistically inclined, maybe go with simpler logos like I kind of have done. And, you know, spend a five bucks on a, a couple bottles of acrylic paint is way better than like 30 on patches which require sewing etc and also you can attach like random shit like this just kinda make it look cooler just flip this over for a second and as you can see I just painted a bunch of you know band logos or monster energy I drink a lot of that um, I'm also straight edge and you know anarchy is one of those things that's like ah, if you're punk you put it on everything so and that's another thing is that like if something strikes you as generic or you don't agree with the the philosophy of anything, don't put it on yourself. That makes you a poser. <laughs> and, you know, the zippers came with the pants, so that's pretty cool. But also, you can just take kind of like weird embellishments off of other clothing and sew it on to other clothing. And that will give you kind of a cool style. Alright, and going along with that thought of if something is a bit too generic for you, go ahead and change it. Um, I have a beloved Nightmare Before Christmas jacket here, but I've seen so many people with this particular jacket, and it's a very stereotypical movie for the alternative kind of community. So, let me just flip this over. In order to spiffy it up a bit, I took it upon myself to create my own kind of back patch of a different, um... Tim Burton movie that I prefer over any of his movies, which is Sweeney Todd. And I took, actually, the the material itself is from a pair of pants that ripped and I would could no longer wear, so I just took that, painted it, splatted it with some red paint, and copied the logo. Um, and I also added some Danzig lyrics from Black Angel, White Angel, because I felt they were appropriate, and I also absolutely love Danzig. So... And I uh, attached it with some safety pins because it's so much easier than sewing. And that's another cool thing that you can do. Okay, so if you're like me and have five trillion um, band t-shirts, what you can do to, you know, I don't know, change some of them up is you can, you can cut off the collar so it's very raggedy, there's no seam. You can cut off the sleeves or what you can do that I like to do sometimes is you can take the inside and see how it's kind of tied. What you'll do is you'll take scissors and cut slits right here. Just one shot and then you'll end up with a bunch of little loops. 
and then you can take those loops and cut them so that you have two individual kind of things that you can tie together and it'll make your shirt a little more fitted and it will look cooler because you get kind of like a, a see-through skin thing but it'll kind of spiffy up your drab kind of t-shirts and lastly granted this is a rather relatively expensive piece to be showing you on a do-it-yourself video um you can get patches put them on a vest obviously that is a a standard trope for any sort of alternative culture but also I want to use this to show you guys that you don't have to conform to any one uh, scene you can if you like a band or if you like uh, a subject of w anything and you want to display it on your vest or your clothes or anywhere don't be afraid to just because it doesn't fit in the scene like hell do you see anything that goes particularly with one scene? No. You just gotta put whatever your heart desires onto your life. And also, these little things didn't come with the vest. They're like two bucks on Amazon. You get a, like a pack of a hundred metal studs and you can put them on everything and it's the best. So, oh, and I'll show you the back because why not? Rob Zombie, woo! And also, you can like use colored string to thread whatever to sew stuff on makes it look kinda cooler alright alright that's about it I hope that this video helped you get some ideas maybe some inspiration that you can do yourself with your clothes um just don't don't follow anything to a T there's no rules for being like goth or punk you just do whatever combine everything it doesn't matter if it looks cool to you put it on your body um so yeah, that's that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, you can do a thing with a button somewhere around here. I don't know. I think it's like sub subscribe, maybe, whatever. Um. So yeah, I'll see you next time with more spoopy videos. Bye, everyone.